ब्रॉड टू यू बाय टेक्नो कैमन थर्टी सीरीज ओके आफ्टर अ ग्लोरियस 19 ईयर करियर दैट स्टार्टेड एज अ यंग बॉय हु प्लेड इन सिकंदराबाद अर्लियर मूव्ड टू दिल्ली एंड देन प्लेड लोकल लेवल फुटबॉल टू द इंडियन टीम टू इवन प्लेइंग ऑन फॉरेन शोज ही इज फाइनली यू नो हंग अप हिज बूट्स द हाईएस्ट गोल स्कोरर एवर फॉर इंडिया विद 94 गोल्स जॉइनिंग अस इज सुनील छेत्री सुनील uh thank you so much for speaking to india today and the first question that i want to really ask you is that it's been a week since you've retired uh, i want to know what did you have for lunch dinner lunch dinner lunch dinner after a boring life of 19 years did the cuisine change or not yeah some of the meals were, were more for the taste and not for the health i would <laughs> not disclose what i ate but uh, yeah more than that a lot of time with the, with with the family with my kid wife mom, mom and dad are here more relaxed uh, just staying occupied not thinking about what has happened uh, having those cheat meals everything is going fine right now okay you know uh, how has life changed because i'm sure you had a regimented routine and you've spoken about it you know wake up at a certain time you need to have your training even though there are no matches you know what you have to follow uh, it's not like that do you feel awkward sometimes you wake up at 6 and what do i have to do i don't have to do the gym work i don't have to yeah. do the ground work so no, that will not change because i i'm going to still play for bangalore fc for at least a year yeah. which starts yeah. july 7th the preseason uh, but yes i did take liberties there was there were no alarm clocks i woke up at 8 had breakfast slept again uh, so yeah but i just hope even after retiring completely from football which i don't know when it's going to be i hope i can maintain majority bit of what what i've done uh, staying healthy doesn't hurt eating right food doesn't hurt yeah. but yes i would i definitely look forward to all those cheat meals i definitely look forward to not sleeping on time i definitely look forward to being a little bit late yeah you know i interviewed igor stimak uh, i think a few months ago and uh, one very interesting thing he mentioned about you he said you know he may have a biological age so he may have a biological age of 39 but physically he is he's 29 uh, could you tell our viewers what really went into ensuring that there is a gap between your physical age and your biological age i think the first thing is i love what i do i'm one of the yeah. few less in the world who who does something he completely loves for a, for for a living second mm. uh, the fact that i am who i am i live a completely privileged life i'm so pampered my only work is to go and play sometimes my, my wife compares my life to dhruv my son because the only thing we both <laughs> do is eat play and sleep, and sleep. that's what i yeah. done last 19 20 21 yeah. uh also taking care of what i eat has been paramount i think we especially in india do not give importance to to the power that food has uh you know i eat a lot of what i need and very less of what i want and yeah. that segregation came with a lot of hard work and a lot of seeing around the world i sleep on time uh i have a lot of gratitude as what what i've got so the least that i can do is give back my best to the sport that that's what i've done that hasn't meant that i've won always but that has definitely meant that i sleep peacefully at night that i given my best and uh, that's the reason why i said i hope i don't change much i hope i still stay regimental i still i hope that i can still keep the keep the the discipline so mm-hmm. it has given me a lot of dividend you know it's not only i to be honest it's not only on the pitch right. but it also makes you a better person i genuinely i think feel it i can't say i know it i'm i'm, I'm not a, i'm not a doctor but when you eat well when you when you know what you're doing when you're pre planned of what is going to happen what's going to happen tomorrow you kind of become a better person because the because the the margins of doing chalna yaar kuch bhi karte hain chalna ye kha lete hain chalna kabhi so lete hain that that goes when that goes i think more than often you're doing the right things because you already preplanned it so i yeah, hope I, it- yeah i i in fact i remember you very disciplined i don't know if you recall but my first memory of sunil chetri is a camp that happened in phagwara that is a national camp uh, sukinder singh was the coach and i had come to cover i stayed two days in the camp 
and my memory is of a brazil argentina game that was to start at 6 am in the morning and uh, players got up to sit in a tv room to watch that thing and i came in the morning to even film that that's my earliest memory and not everyone got up because it was a early start 6 am start brazil argentina and at that time i could see that you know this is a disciplined guy who's come in because he loves football so he's woken up uh, early morning to watch that at from that boy that i remember uh, in fagwara to to today uh, do you, did you ever imagine in your wildest dream that's that's a uh, sunil chetri who's not made his debut to having played 19 years did you even imagine in your wildest dream that's how your career will pan out no no that's why that's why hence the gratitude and giving my best because if there are few few people who have seen me that time could also to you man remember that days those days yeah, yeah. i i mean even if i take you back four years from when you saw me when i was a young kid even if somebody told me that you can write whatever you want and you will get it i couldn't have written what i have actually got so from that boy that you saw who hadn't played for the country yet to playing 150 games who forget about india i'm the only one but around the world very few play on against for the country it's an absolute honor and amazing feat of course i wouldn't have done it without the help of so many but uh, i i couldn't have written it and as and i have a lot of gratitude you know all these days when i after i i i announced for retirement i had time to think about and reflect i've yeah. lived a blessed life not many people in the world get to live the way i've lived so much of love so much of attention so much of adulation so much of liberties it's it's amazing and the least that i can do is be disciplined the least that i can do is turn up and and give my best now you have certainly for those 19 years now one thing i always wanted to ask you that whenever anybody talks about sunil chetri you know whenever there was a profile made or an interview starts as i did today you know mention those 94 goals the highest or the third highest in active players you know we journalists often use this uh, stat data i i often wonder how do you see it you do you find it confidence boosting sometimes or do you find it amusing how do you see this particular stat you know um there is ronaldo there is messi there is sunil chetri so whenever a footballing person is talking about it i am absolutely mm-hmm. thrilled i take a lot of pride because i know a footballing person understand what the comparison is the comparison is purely on the basis of what we have done for our countries and i will yeah. compete and i did compete against anyone in the world when it comes to doing my best for the country i've done it if given a chance i'll do it again but when it goes to a realm of people trying to compare the kind of players we are that's where i it's it's amusing and i and i and i laugh and i and i think it is ridiculous because there is no comparison whatsoever between me messi and ronaldo there are yeah. thousands and thousands and thousands of players like me who are huge fans of both messi and ronaldo uh, so only at that moment when if i may say so the new footballing fans who do not probably have much knowledge and if if they are cracking about it or just you know talking about it i find it amusing because all the footballing people they understand this there is no comparison but yes i would compete i did and i will against anyone when when it comes to giving my best to the country's concern okay you're talking about people who follow football so you know the the day you announced your retirement we did a podcast with a few football journalists who've been following football for a long time and and the one question that came across was uh you know is sunil the greatest uh, footballer to play for india and everyone had a different opinion and i'd pick sunil as the greatest ever having seen many uh, other footballers before you in a bai chung and an i am vijay and in a mahesh kauli all of that and i had my reasons so i'm not going to dwell into those reasons but do you ever think about that that the legacy you're leaving behind people talking about greatest ever to play for india no because it's not true because i'm okay. and i'm not trying to be i'm not trying to be humble okay yeah. let me say this forget me let's suppose let's suppose we're talking about an i am vijayan and yeah. pk banerjee for example okay you can't compare because the eras were different the circumstances were different what they did was different who they did against was different it's difficult yeah. to compare i'm keeping myself away yeah? from a vantage point yeah yeah it is it is very difficult i would never compare myself with anyone because i have so much respect for them now yeah. now what my legacy should be and i hope it is i worked tremendously hard and i just hope every player now in the dressing room i know they 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 know it and they and they they try to emulate it and 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 they and they get inspired by me i just hope whoever talks about me in terms of legacy they do understand that you really got to work hard especially when you get a chance to play for a country it's not a joke you have the power to make 1.5 billion people happy do not take it for granted the least you can do is just go out and give whatever you have do not take 
an inch of of complacency just go out and just give your best and i think that should be my legacy i hope that is my legacy that here there was someone who really worked hard okay let me ask you put you in a spot of course you have to keep yourself out of this debate and not going back into footballers that you never saw but from the ones that you saw who do you think was the greatest according to you oh. <laughs> okay should i make it easier for you should i reverse the question or you want to answer that or i can even make it slightly I, easier huh. i will i, I will try uh, uh-huh. i have watched very less of ambai mm-hmm. and i and i love what i saw but because you're talking about the best in the country and i'm keeping myself aside i would say bachin bhai there are many that come in my head but the sheer determination and the hunger that i saw in that person was was unmatched and again i must say i have seen much more of bachin bhai i've played with him for yeah. six years for the national team so i might be biased i mean one more name comes in my head a lot of people don't understand that is jj he did really yeah. well for three at his prime but it was short lived uh but uh, yeah i think if i have to name one guy and there are so many is going to who are going to get annoyed but yes bachin bhai had that impact on me and and yeah no i don't think anybody will get annoyed i mean that's the goodwill that bachin gutia had that everyone loves him so much if you were to take that name to anyone will ever be annoyed okay i i wanted to know ever since you retired i'm sure you got loads of messages and you know congratulatory messages and people looking back at and your career who was the uh, the biggest name from the world of football or the sweetest message that you got after you announced your uh, retirement see and, and, and as far as big names are concerned there are mm-hmm. there are many i mean uh, mm-hmm. getting a message from modric was huge getting a message from the fifa boss was good virat mm-hmm. messaging was huge but i just i'm throwing names because people like yeah. hearing but yeah one, yeah yeah i like to hear it <laughs> yeah one of the sweetest messages that really made me choke was i don't know the guy's name and he made a video as to as to why i shouldn't retire and uh, he was he started his journey with me he started watching football with me i'm so sorry i forgot his name and three days he made me cry in the bathroom because it just choked me he talked about how he has grown with 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 my career he talked about ups and downs he talked about growing up in football with me and it was unbelievable then you know at, at those times you realize what a what a beautiful life you had because you know i i did something when when you go to the airport when you go outside when people talk about when they want autographs photographs after some time you get used to it you know it's just like routine okay you have to go there you give as much autographs as possible you move on you don't think about it but after yeah. that the kind of fan mail and messages i got they were overwhelming it was unbelievable the kind of love that and that's why i said that, that there aren't many sports people in the world sorry in my country who have got more love i'm so fortunate and one of yeah. those videos really made me choked before 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 six cuz cuz they were they were unbelievably good and i just wish them all the very best in whatever they they, they are doing in their life okay i'm going to mine social media and take out some of those messages i'm sure they will be there after i'm done with the interview i, I know text, i will i will text you through kunal the guy's okay. name at that yes. video nice okay okay we're going to put that out i know i do not have too much time with you but i have the last three questions to to go for you one i want to know you know uh, and i remember covering it very closely it was the time that that the qpr uh, you know call came and and it wasn't because of you it was where india were ranked in the fifa ranking at that time you could not make that switch do you think life would have turned out differently at that time you'd been eligible so you know had india been in that that situation within the fifa ranking and you could get a work permit things would have been different in your career see at that time i thought like that i had the regret right. for a short short period of time but i moved on right. uh right. it i mean it it didn't bother me i didn't think about what would have happened but i can tell you one thing that always stays with me is i was 26 when i went to sporting lisbon i had a four year long deal but in one year i came back because i didn't get enough chances one i won't say the grid it's a it's a very big word because i have an amazing life but i wish i had gone to sporting when i was 16 i wish i had those four years to burn i wish because when 26 i was at sporting b i was so it was itching me that i wasn't playing every week i only played five games at two coming from the bench it wasn't enough for my morale and i made the switch back to india if i had gone to sporting lisbon when i was 16 playing with sporting b the likes of eric daya broom and all those superstars i would have stayed there for four years and then i don't know what would have happened still probably the life that i've got is is outstanding 
and I, I don't mm-hmm. want to use the word regret, but yeah, sometimes I think that I wish I was 16 when I went to sporting. Okay, I had a, I mean, my own analysis, and let me know. At that time, you go to sporting Lisbon, if you were 16 and you were playing in the B team, see, many people say that there's some time people who've played at that level say that sometime playing in B team can be tougher than playing in the A team because they are rougher, more physical at that it point. Is. Had you you had you just made you know gone there at 16 maybe by that time transition when you were 24 25 26 into the a team it could have been different is, is that why you say you should yes. have gone there younger yes mm. forget about the a team of of sporting only mm. but getting that kind of a level and that kind of an education and that kind of a surrounding and that kind of an atmosphere is a different ball game altogether so when i was 16 i was in delhi when i was 17 i went to mohan bagan which is the biggest club in india then and 17 18 19 20 i was in mohan bagan which was a great jump for me i was in the best in india but then if i yeah. was 16 i was going to sporting i'm talking about best in europe the level is way higher you know at 16 a figo goes to sporting at 16 a ronaldo goes to sporting at 16 a charisma goes to to, to, to sporting and Eric Dye, as I said, uh, my room partner then, was there at Sporting. So, I think the things would have been different. But again, it's not a regret. It's just that I wish I was there. And if any kid who wants to go to abroad and, and, and hone his skills, at that level, I hope he goes or she goes at a young age. Because it's not easy. It's not easy to make that jump from an Indian level to a Sporting Lisbon. So, that's the only wish that I had. Would you want, uh, uh, you know, Indian footballers who go abroad uh, and not a lot have gone. Sometime you get a feeling that the comforts of being in India, uh, because you get paid more here rather than playing B division, C division abroad, it's tough for life. You have to drive yourself to the ground. You have to do your laundry. You have to search for your own food, cook, and it's much comfortable here. Do you think that's that's a problem? If if there was a youngster who came to you who's playing abroad, these tougher times, what what advice would you give him? That you know, spend those tough months there, do the hard work, rather than getting an easier life, more money playing for a club in India. Could could there be a solution there that you can think or advise a youngster who's thinking on those terms? Oh, that's a that's a great technical question that you've mm. asked. You know mm. what happens is, let's mm. say if the boys who are doing well in our country, we are aiming Asia. It is so difficult because all the Asian teams look for the fourth foreign quota to Brazil and Argentina and the European nations. Okay, so that's difficult. Now, if you want to make an, a move to European nations, you got to go to the B and the C divisions. Now, if you are 2021 20, already, and let's suppose you are a, a Suresh Wangjam or Udanta or, or, or Anwar, you're making a lot of money here. It becomes very difficult. Right. That is why the age group, that is why being 15, 16 helps. If you are that good at 15, 16, and you can see that, and you have a right team around you who can see and sense that, then you go because at 16, you don't have crores. You're not seeing yeah. at multi-year deals. You just want to play. So you take somebody with you, a guardian, you have the right team, and you will do the laundries. You will polish the boots of yeah. the seniors. You will do all the stuff that we did when we were younger. But now it's so difficult because a lot of youngsters in our country are making, and it's not their mistake. It's not their fault. They can go to an Asian clubs, but the Asians will always choose the Brazilians because you can understand that. You only have four foreign quotas. Yeah. And when you go to Europe, there is no chance an ISL player will go and start in Premier League. Not yet. So you have to go to a B division, C division. You will not go if you're already 23 and an established name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I hope all the youngsters are listening. I always, you know, hope for Indian youngsters to go fight it out in those tougher leagues. Uh, because you see that with a lot of other Asian teams, you know, because they don't have a big league like Afghanistan and yes. all of those countries. Yes. Yes. They have to struggle and play B, yes. C division. Yes. Yes, uh, and you do see a difference. I know no time left with you. My final question, uh, Sunil, and that is, I always wonder, and I thought I'll ask you at the end of your career, that you know, while we enjoyed your center of gravity, your vision, your weight of the past, all of that, everyone could see the one facet of your game that really fascinated me. Uh, five foot seven, you know, as tall as I am. How did that heading ability come? That that you know, hang in the air because I would see you uh, up against six feet, six feet two defenders, and yet when there's a header. There's a Sunil Chetri taking that header. Where did that come from? I'll tell you an honest answer. Yeah. It's it's not the leg power. It's not the jump. It's just I am willing to hit the ball. I want to hit the ball. And trust me, it is... I always tell the kids because there's so many kids who have a great jump. So many kids who are tall but they can't because you don't want to. You have to want to because an, an elbow is coming. 
and elbows come into your face so you have to want to if you don't want to you will never to go for a header is one of the most difficult task in football because you can see an elbow and seeing an elbow is not easy you know a 6 ft 3 inch murtaza fall or sandesh jingan or a john johnson comes with an elbow it is not easy so i think i wanted to head the ball i want to head the ball and that probably is the most important thing if you want to win headers okay sunil so thank you so much for your time and those insights here is wishing you very best for the one year that you're going to play football and all the very best for the future as well thank you so much thank you so much and all the best to you of watching indian team there in in us <laughs> come back come back with yeah. the trophy <laughs> we'll try and do that thanks so much thanks okay. so much sunil bye bye bahut lamba ho gaya intezar kya finally is baar world cup jeetne ka sapna haqeeqat mein badlega world cup ki sari coverage hamare aur aapke sath kahan sports tak स्पोर्ट्स अक यूट्यूब स्पोर्ट्स अक ऐप और स्पोर्ट्स अक वेबसाइट पर सीधी कवरेज अमेरिका और वेस्ट इंडीज से